Hello, this is logarithms lesson four. In this, I will discuss questions on characteristics and mantissa. Now we know that log n, I will consider the base as ten, can be calculated when n is positive. So when n n is positive, so n could be more than one or between zero to one. n is more than one, n is positive. Then how the log is calculated? Log of n. This is equal to characteristics. I'm just writing the for short form. The full form is written on the uh, main headline of this lesson. Characteristics C S T R plus mantissa. If n is greater than one, log n will be equal to characteristics plus mantissa. What is the characteristics? Characteristics is equal to one less than the number of digits. One less than the number of digits in n. Plus mantissa, you have to see from the log table. Mantissa, you have to see from the log table. This mantissa. Now mantissa value is always positive. You must know that mantissa is always positive and it lies between zero and one. So mantissa lies between zero and one. It will be more than zero and it will be less than one. Mantissa always, whatever be the value, be the whatever be the value of n. Mantissa will always lies between zero and one. For example, if I need to discuss uh, the value of log two, now what will be the characteristics? Now you can see that number of digits in two. How many digits number is two? One digit number. So characteristics one less than the number of digit. Number of digit is one. One less than one is zero. So characteristics of log two would be zero. Mantissa. If you see from log table, you don't have to see the log table. You have to just remember this. This value will be point three zero one. So mantissa of log two is point three zero one. So final answer will be point three zero one. Same way, we only we also should remember log three. Again, it's a single digit number. What will be the characteristics? Characteristics will be zero. This is point four seven seven. You need to remember these two values, log two as well as log three, because sometimes in exam the value of log two as well as log three is not given. So you must remember the value of log two is point three zero one. The value of log three is point four seven seven. Another example I am taking. Let's say log one two three four five six. How many digit number is six digit number? So characteristics will be five. Integer number characteristics is always an integer. Characteristic is always an integer. So six-digit number characteristic will be five. Mantissa you have to check from the log table, and you don't need the log table in aptitude exams. It this value will be given to you. Otherwise, if this characteristic is given to you, let's say characteristic is given to you as six. This is given to you as six. This is this value is given to let's say point three seven two eight something is given to you. So how many digit number will be there? This will be a seven-digit number. Reverse can, question can also come. If characteristic is six, it means that the number is a seven-digit number. You can't tell which number it would be, but you can always say that it would be a seven-digit number. Then only your characteristics will be six, and mantissa will be something. This I have written by my imagination. It may or may not be correct. The only thing is that I want to tell you that mantissa always lies between zero and one. Characteristic is one less than the number of digits in n. If a seven-digit number is there, characteristic will be six. In this case, one, two, three, four, five, six is six-digit number. Characteristics will be five. Let's solve some question on the base of this concept I just told you. Question one is: You have given log two. This is point three zero one. You need to calculate the value of log twelve point five. Now we need to convert this twelve point five into something related to log two. The base is ten. If the base is not given, you can always assume that the base is Ten. This is also base ten. So I will write this. Now I will convert this into any form of log two. Can I? This is equal to twenty five by two. Twelve point five is twenty five by two. Now again, I don't know the value of log twenty five. What should I do? Can I write this as equal to? Fifty by four 
multiplied numerator as well denominator by 2 again i can't uh, i don't know the value of log 50 or even if i will uh, you can say the open this log 5 will come even i don't know the value of log 5 again this can be written as 100 by 8 here i can calculate the value of this because log 10 100 by 8 this can be written as log a by b is equal to log a minus log b log a by b is equal to log a minus log b now this is equal to this we know that log 10 this is 10 square 100 is 10 square minus log 10 this 8 is 2 cube now open this the power will come forward this will become 2 log 10 to the base 10 minus 3 log 2 to the base 10 you know that log a up to the base a when the number and the base is same this value is 1 this equals to 2 minus 3 what is the value of log 2 this is given to you log 2 is you know that is 0 0.301 so this is 2 minus 0 0.903 and your answer will be 1.9 0.097 I think it will become like this this will be your final answer 1.097 that will be the value of log 12.5 to the base 10 so in so in such a way we need to use the value of log 2 as well as log 3 depending on question to question important question second find the number of digits in 2 raised to power 60 now please don't try to calculate 2 raised to power 60 some student try to calculate 2 power 60 how many digits will be there you don't need to calculate here the concept of log will be applied how so let's x is equals to i'm assuming this is equals to 2 power 60 this is x now what should i do can i take log yes i can take log this will become log of x this will become log of 2 raised to power 60 the 60 power will come forward this is 60 log 2 log of x 60 we know the value of log 2 this is 0 0.301 i told you to remember the value of log 2 sometimes in questions it won't be given so 60 into 0 0.301 will be equals to 18.06 now x was our number can i say this log of x i will break this 18 plus 0 0.06 now as I told you the value of log any number log n this number will be characteristics and this will be mantisa any value is given to you integral value will be characteristics this is characteristics this is mantisa as I told you the mantisa always lies between 0 and 1 so this is log x now what is characteristics characteristics is 1 less than the number of digits of the number so for common sense x is a 19 digit number x is a 19 digit number then only the characteristic is one less than the number of digits characteristic is 18 it means that the number x is a 19 digit number then only the characteristic will come 18 and this point 0 0.06 is a mantisa so from here i can say that my x is a 19 digit number that is option number four now you can see that this question can be sold in exam under a minute the only thing is that you must know the value of log next is when n is between 0 and 1 i discuss the case in which the n was greater than 1 log n then n can be n can be greater than 1 or n can be between 0 and 1 n can't be negative because you can't calculate the log of negative values so i have discussed the case with you characteristics and mentisa now i'm going to discuss when n lies between 0 and 1 then what is the value of log n characteristics and mentisa characteristics and mentisa mentisa is always a positive number and lies between the 0 and 1 mentisa will be greater than 0 but less than 1 always between 0 and 1 mentisa positive value characteristics will be negative in this case it will be minus of one more than the 
वन मोर देन द नंबर ऑफ कंजेक्यूटिव जीरोज आफ्टर द डेसिमल वन मोर देन द नंबर ऑफ कंजेक्यूटिव जीरोज आफ्टर द डेसिमल मेंटिस यू नो दैट यू हैव टू चेक फ्रॉम द लोक टेबल आई एम गिविंग एग्जाम्पल हाउ टू फाइंड द करेक्टरिस्टिक्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल ए नंबर इज लाइक दिस पॉइंट जीरो 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 एट सेवन फाइव दिस इज अ नंबर वी नीड टू फाइंड द लोग ऑफ दिस नंबर लोग ऑफ दिस नंबर वी नीड टू फाइंड ना वट विल बी द करेक्टरिस्टिक्स ना यू कैन सी दैट हाउ मेनी जीरोज आर देयर आफ्टर डेसीमल कंजेक्यूटिव जीरो आफ्टर द डेसीमल थ्री जीरो आर देयर आफ्टर डेसीमल सो करेक्टरिस्टिक्स भी वन मोर देन दैट इट विल बी माइनस फोर प्लस से मैंटिसा फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई एम रेंडमली टेकिंग लेट से मैंटिसा इज पॉइंट थ्री टू सेवन so this will be my value finally mentisa will always be positive now you can combine combine this number how to combine this one is a negative number one is a positive number so final value you have to subtract and this value will be equals to this will be minus 3.673 that will be the final value again don't forget that mentisa will be positive now here a important concept came that very important concept log value log n log n can be negative when n lies between 0 and 1 otherwise it will always be positive log n when n is greater than 1 is always positive value log 1 is 0 n lies between 0 and 1 log is negative but you can't determine the negative log of any negative number cannot be determined log value can be negative but you can't determine the log of a negative number there is difference between these two things when the value of log is negative when n the number lies between 0 and 1 then the characteristics will be one more than the number of consecutive zeros after the decimal and mentisa is always be positive one negative number one positive number characteristics will be integer always always a integer negative integer and mentisa is always a fraction between 0 and 1 let's solve some question on the base of this then the concept will be more clear to you next question is find the number of zeros after the decimal this is saying the consecutive zeros find the number of consecutive zeros after the decimal in 3 by 4 power 400 now you can see that this number 3 by 4 power 400 is between 0 and 1 because 3 by 4 itself is between 0 and 1 its power will also be in the between 0 and 1 now how to check it again you have to take the log you can't calculate this value let's say x is equals to 3 by 4 power 400 now what if we take log both side you will get log x is equals to 400 log 3 by 4 actually first it would be like this I have just uh, skipped the one step. Earlier it would be taking log both side. It will be log x is equal to log three by four power four hundred. Then you will come here. Four hundred will come forward. This equals log x four hundred. Now log a by b. This is equal to log a minus log b. Now you know the values of this is four hundred. Log three is point four seven seven. This is log two square four hundred point four seven seven minus two log two. This is log x is equal to four hundred point four seven seven minus two into point three zero one. I put the value of log two. This is equal to log x is four hundred point four seven seven minus point six zero two. Subtracted and multiplied with four hundred, what you will get? This will be equal to minus fifty. Exact fifty is coming. So can you say that this is log x is equal to minus fifty? This is characteristics. This is characteristics. Mantisa is point zero 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 zero. This is mantisa. Now characteristics is minus fifty. When the characteristic will be minus fifty, 
करेक्टरिस्टिक्स विल बी करेक्टरिस्टिक्स इज वट इन वन द एक्स इज बिटवीन जीरो एंड वन करेक्टरिस्टिक्स इज नंबर ऑफ कंजेक्यूटिव जीरो आफ्टर डेसिमल वन मोर देन दैट वन मोर देन द नंबर ऑफ कंजेक्यूटिव जीरो आफ्टर द डेसिमल सो कैन एस दिस माइनस फिफ्टी इज इक्वल टू करेक्टर सिक्स फिफ्टी फिफ्टी इज वट वन मोर देन द वन मोर देन नंबर ऑफ कंजेक्यूटिव जीरोज आफ्टर डेसीमल this value is 50 because i told you that what was the characteristics let's go back i'm just going to check, give you this this characteristics is negative if you forget the sign what is in, inside the bracket we have 50 in this case minus 50 so 50 would be one one more than the number of consecutive zero after the decimal now one more the, this 50 value is one more than the number of consecutive zeros after the decimal so number of consecutive zero number of consecutive zero after decimal would be how much number of consecutive after the decimal number of consecutive zero after decimal would be how much 49 if 49 zeros are there after the decimal consecutively then characteristic will be minus 50 so your answer would be 49 answer of this question would be 49 So in this way, you can solve the questions based on characteristics and mentisa. That was all about characteristics and mentisa. These questions are very easy once you understand the value of, and you know the value of log two as well as log three. Thank you.